Hey everybody, it's Pete. Good morning. Welcome to today's episode of Stocks for Breakfast. It is Thursday, April 30th, 2020. And today we're going to review some stuff that is feedback from both emails that I've been getting and uh, comments in the videos. And that's about fear. Uh, fear, hesitation, doubt, all of those uh, they kind of go together. They go together because they're really kind of the same problem. There's fear of losing money, fear of making a bad decision, those kind of stuff. Um, hesitation with getting into a trade, uh, doubt about where to get out of a trade. Um, all of those things are a part of the same problem, a part of um, a part of the mindset of trading that has really nothing to do with the charts and. If you've been trading for a little bit, uh, you you probably at this point understand that trading is much much more psychological than it is actually technical. And and when I mean technical, I mean actually placing the trades and you know finding something to do. Uh, and if you doubt that, you call up one of your friends who you know is a trader. If you know anybody else who's trading, and get into a trade at exactly the same spot. Uh, you know, hit hit buy at the same time, and I guarantee you there'll be different exits if you don't talk about it. Um, so it's interesting that um, you need to go through this process to really fully understand um, that it's it's critically important if you want to have uh, success as a trader um, that you need to pay attention to what works and what doesn't work, and what absolutely does not work is not being ready to risk money. Now, when I used to do seminars, but by, oh, by the way, if you like this video, please click down and subscribe. This way you get updates. And if you have any questions, leave a comment. Uh, I used to leave, I used to ask the same question during my seminars all the time. Uh, and I would say, do you believe that placing a trade is accepting risk? And everybody in the room would uh, raise their hand. And then I ask, okay, who in this room has ever moved a stop loss when it was about to get hit? And my hand would go up. <laughs> of course, every, everybody at some point in their career has done that. And I'll call trading as a career. Um, uh, and what happens is if you place a trade and, and I'm getting, this is also tying back to entering trades and hesitating. If you place a trade, that means that you believe something's going to happen. And, that's the general theory, right? You're going to put money on, you're going to, <laughs> you believe you're going to make some money, right? But if that trade starts moving against you and gets down to the point where you're like, ah, my stop loss is right there. I, I, I'm, I, I know the thing's going to turn around, but I don't want to get out of the trade. Um, and you move it. You actually move the stop loss and the trade does whatever happens to do after that. That's getting back to what I just asked about, ask about accepting risk versus taking risk. Most traders mistakenly take risk, which means that you're okay with putting a trade on. You're okay with putting your money in harm's way. Most traders who are struggling, who hesitate, who uh, move their stop losses, who blow their stop losses, who take much bigger losses than they're supposed to, did not accept the risk before the trade. Now, it sounds like it's the same thing, it is a universe apart. And, I, and here's why, when you finally understand this, this is where everything starts to click for you. If you put on a trade prior to every single trade that you put on, it's imperative that you admit and that you accept that you could lose that money, which means, and, and obviously you have to be okay with losing the money, which means that you, prior to the trade, you must, and I'm just going to throw a number out there. Prior to the trade, you have to say, I'm willing to risk $300 because I think the profit potential on this trade is awesome. And if the trade does not work, trades down to my $300 stop loss, I'm going to get out flawlessly because prior to the trade, I said I was willing to risk that money as the cost of doing business. And I'm pointing again. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> um, so anyway, the, the point is the more you can accept risk prior to every single trade. And I'm getting, I'm kind of, this kind of was spurred by two people yesterday, one person in the chat room and one person in a uh, email um, about hesitating to enter a position. The more you can accept risk before the trade, the more you will never hesitate. 
because there's really no reason to ever hesitate because if you did the hard work before a trade and said, I think this is going to make money based on X, Y, Z, I think this is going to make money and I'm willing to risk $300 on it. And again, I'm just picking $300. Once you get to that point, trading actually becomes easy at that point because now there's no fear of loss because you've already accepted the loss. Think about that. If prior to the trade, you said, I'm okay with risking $300 because this is a good idea. And think about, let's just think about like the extreme of that. Let's think about like, say you really knew something and you're like, everything is lining up and you had no doubt in the world that thing is going to go in the direction you thought. You'd never hesitate, right? You put the trade on a hundred times out of a hundred times. That's the point that you want to get to in every single trade you make. When you get to that point, and I have confidence you can do it, when you get to that point, you will trade and you will trade and you will trade. You know, you'll just work the keyboard and trade, work the keyboard and trade, work the keyboard and trade because the entire trading experience to you now completely shifts to finding good ideas and managing risk, finding good ideas and managing risk. And when you get to the higher levels, then it becomes managing leverage in addition to that, where you're managing multiple positions at the same time. And I will tell you from personal experience that the more positions that you could uh, find and manage, the easier it is actually in the long run to, uh, and I'm gonna say this in context with a disclaimer, it, the easier it is to be profitable if you have a strategy that works because you're actually allowing your strategy to work faster because all of our trading is based on an edge. So if you allow your edge to play itself out, which by its very definition, an edge means over a sample size, the faster you allow your edge to play out, the faster you will get profitable. It's why algorithms make money because they're taking many trades, right? It's why casinos make money. There's not just one blackjack table, there's hundreds. There's not just one roulette table, there's hundreds. Why is that? Because they have an edge that small, but they want it to play out over time. So the more confidence that you have, that you have the ability to accept risk prior to every trade, you will do nothing more than find a trade, place a trade, find a trade, place a trade. You won't be agonizing over whether or not the position is going to move in your favor or against you and have that fear of loss of the position. Fear of loss vanishes. The fear of losing trades vanishes because there's no fear anymore prior to the trade. Now, if you can't afford to trade, that's a whole other discussion. But I'm not, I'm not speaking to somebody right now um, who, is a, who doesn't have the money. I'm assuming if you have an account open, that's risk capital, right? So that's, the, that's the, the prudent thing to do with your own money. You're managing your own money, right? So I want, to, I, want to, I want you to grasp the power of this, that you are now taking control of the market, and it's not the market who is in charge anymore. You are. So when you get to that point and you understand order flow, you understand saturation points as the way we're teaching it, and, and you understand how to put the market together, there's nothing to fear ever other than you. <laughs> At that point, if you don't like the results, don't blame the market. Look in the mirror. <laughs> uh, that's you, okay? You're the person that is not following the plan. But that's exciting too because if, if you're smart and you're working really hard, you're listening to what I'm saying and you are now using feedback of what you're doing and the results you're getting to instantly improve every single trade and every single day. So when you make that big list of what doesn't work, when you have the right mindset going into your trades of saying, I'm not gonna place this trade unless I'm willing to accept the risk. And if that trade moves against me, I'm out because it's a part of doing business. Again, no different from uh, somebody down the block who owns a restaurant. They have to pay employees, they have to pay for food, they have to pay for the lights. That's the same thing that you and I have to do in our trading. And a trading loss is a part of what we do. Could you imagine a restaurant owner or anybody who really has signs a lease and opens a business and staying up late every single night because of the fact that there are bills? That's a different thing if they don't have revenue. That's not what I'm talking about. So hopefully you watch this video a couple of times and maybe even write it out because it, it, it really is important. And, and I know there's going to be some of you say I, that BS. Nobody... No, that's not BS. If you don't believe it, that means you're, 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 you're not at that level where you're willing to accept it. There's no reason to put on a trade 
if you're not willing to accept the risk in that position. If you're willing to accept the risk in that position, it moves against you, you're out, and then you look for your next idea, which actually brings me to the next thing. Let's say you put on a certain dollar amount and the stock moves against you really quickly. Something that's very common or moves against you at all, but you still love the idea. It's just a really good idea. Maybe you just got stopped out and ticked out by a penny. And I'll just use round numbers again. Let's say you had 500 shares. There's absolutely nothing wrong with pulling 400 shares off the table, keeping 100 shares, letting that position move in your position summary, because when you learn tape reading like we're teaching you, you understand that watching that up and down in your position summary is a much stronger emotional bond between you and that stock because you actually own it. So that's another strategy as well. So you could reduce risk until the position actually finally does work out. And if it just doesn't recover, you have just reduced 80% of the risk on the trade in exchange for having uh, that position to really understand the tape. The next part, and we'll probably discuss this in a follow-up video, is once you have the downside managed where you have the risk amount that you are okay with and you actually flawlessly execute the downside, the next part is that gives you enough time to be around long enough to learn how to make money. And we'll keep talking about that in future videos. So uh, I wanted to bring that up because a couple of people wrote about hesitating, uh, both getting in and getting out of positions. Uh, getting out of positions on the upside is a whole other story, but on the downside, do it flawlessly and you'll allow yourself to be around much, much longer because you're paying for that experience in the market, right? We're heading into today, I'm gonna to do another video with best stock picks. Take a look at that in a couple of minutes. Uh, we got some monster earnings coming out again today. Apple and Amazon at the top of the list. Yesterday's earnings were Tesla, uh, Facebook, some big ones, and Microsoft. Uh, Facebook is actually trading over uh, $200 again in a big way, and Tesla actually as well uh, shooting higher. So those, those are stocks that are gonna be in play today too. So please take this video to heart eliminate the fear of losing trades because of what I just said, because there's no fear because you already accepted it. So have a great day, everybody. I will speak to you soon.